we're back at this 2005 Prius that has the leaking condenser that I found in the previous video. Now I'm finished charging it up and I'm running it. The compressor is in, seems to be in perfect condition. There's no noises, it's cooling correctly. And if we come down here, we'll see uh, we're floating between 39 and 40 degrees on the evaporator suction line. Now you see that sensor right there clamped onto the line. I know it's actually colder than that because where that thermistor is located is located right above the hot exhaust manifold and it's getting radiant heat and air on it, slightly elevating the temperature. So I actually know that this temperature is a little higher than what it really is. And you would cover, if you wanted to do it correctly, cover it with some rags. You put some aluminum in foil around it with a shiny reflective side on the outside so it, ra it reflects the radiant heat from the um, exhaust manifold located about three inches below it. And then you wouldn't be uh, getting contamination of heat being added to your sensor through the plastic getting hot. That's what you do when you want really correct temperatures. Um, what else? We know we're uh, working on the inside. I went through all the controls that goes in positions. We got nice cold coming out here. And we got cold out here because we know we did it correctly. And of course, everybody's jobs come out like this, right, Mr. Customer? If they're not, go somewhere else. Um, unless you're in the desert and it's only 10% humidity, you're not gonna get that. So that leak, it's been running for about 20 minutes now. I got another vehicle I'm doing too at the same time. So here we are back at that leak, right there. And I have the big blue sprayed on it and there's no bubbles. I have UV dye in the system and there is no sign of a leak. And as you can see in the sight glass, you see how bright it is with the UV dye. So UV dye doesn't pick it up. I took out the stratus and put it right up to, no signs of leak. This is one of those kind of leaks that either leaks slow or it leaks when it wants to. A certain pressure, a certain temperature, a certain vibration. And then it can open up and this could be one of those ones where you go a few weeks, few months, or he calls back tomorrow and it's completely empty. Now, this is what makes it hard. Since this is a water soluble dye, you have one of those customers who goes through a lot of, a lot of uh, car washes or it's winter time and the leak developed while it was raining. The rain, the fog, the sleet from snow and stuff would wash all that oil away because it's ester oil and it washes away really good, pretty good with water. And so when it comes to your shop in the springtime or summer, it's already ran out of refrigerant and there could be no oil stain with no dust pickup and you would have a clean condenser and you would never know that was a leak site and you used your UV dye, you used your Stratus uh, leak detector, you used your ultrasonic, you used your soapy water and even after all that, you find no leaks anywhere and you go, oh, Mr. Customer, you're okay. But why was it low in the first place? There was a leak and you fill it up and tomorrow they call you up and it's empty because it just opened up, released all the refrigerant, and that happens. I've caught that on videos before and shown you. So I'm done with this one. I'm about to recover the refrigerant out now. And that's it. I'll shut off the vehicle and get on my way. Okay guys, I'll see you later.